All right, welcome back in Newswire here on the Sports Grid Network. It is a huge uh, week here as uh, we've got the All-Star break going on. Uh, we got a home run derby tonight, All-Star game tomorrow, and then the second half of the Major League Baseball season will resume here towards the weekend. But we got something else pretty big happening uh, this weekend, and it is the final major of the season here, the Open Championship. And nobody knows it better than Keith Stewart here joining us uh, on the Sports Grid Network. And uh, Keith, before we dive into what we're going to see this week with the Open Championship, I got to get your thoughts on what we just watched yesterday at the Scottish Open. Uh, Robert McIntyre, maybe one of the best feel-good stories uh, so far and just unbelievable, become only the second Scott, I think, to actually win the country's own uh, Open Championship. But the way it happened... Uh, was truly magnificent with the free drop that he got on the 16th hole down two strokes. What were you thinking when that happened? Uh, I don't know if I can say that on the <laughs> network. And good morning on a Monday there, Joe. But when, when you say a feel-good story, right? A, a, a feel-good story was his dad on the bag when he won the RBC Canadian Open for his first wow. ever PGA Tour win. And then this guy goes to Scotland. He has been very vocal about this, that he wants to win his national championship. He was robbed by yep. Rory a year ago with an amazing birdie, which was, I guess, plaque deserving. I mean, we hand out plaques for everything, well, trophies for everything. We might as well make plaques, right? <laughs> so he, he gets it stolen last year. Now we come to this year, and I am riding, I'm riding the kid. I'm riding Ludwig Ober, right? And we are watching this thing play out. And as it looked like, it, it didn't look like it was Ober's tournament to win. It looked like Adam Scott's turn to win and you know what a nice preview for the 152nd open championship coming and then robert mcintyre heads over into the weeds and the next thing you know he's standing <laughs> on, he's standing on a sprinkler head which i guess i guess in some sense makes sense because that grass was so tall i i guess it's getting watered all the time i don't know then this guy not only is does he get a free drop but he starts taking practice swings in the hay which i'm not sure that you are allowed to do anyway i mean don't quote me on it. I've only been a I've only been a PGA professional that's won five awards for over 20 years. But I'm pretty sure when you go into the hay, you don't get to go in with a sickle, right? In order just to then uh, <laughs> suddenly find a drop, make eagle. Now I don't want to take anything away from the fact that it is a rule. He was standing on he he was standing on the sprinkler head, and he did get relief, and he finished three 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 to win his national championship. I, I think that's fantastic. Yeah. But for everyone else that's watching this that always tunes into golf for a fantastic finish like that. When there's something a little finicky, uh, it always seems to add to the conversation mm -hmm. come Monday. And I tell you, it doesn't sit well with me, but if you're Carver who had, you know, who had Bobby Mack at 50 to one, I know that he and I are going to oh. argue about this on Wednesday and I'll be hearing about it all week as well as you too. Yep, I it was as soon as he made that uh, he got the drop and then he makes the the eagle. I'm like, it's a no point watching. It's over. At the, I don't care what happens from here. The golf guards are over his shoulder here at this point. And oh, kudos yeah. to him for getting it done. Uh, but you mentioned uh, a Berger collapse there. There were some guys that weren't great in this tournament that are heading into the Open Championship. But when you look at the odds board, it starts at the top with you know who. Uh, Scotty Scheffler, who took this tournament off, good thing, bad thing, do you think, uh, for him? And uh, is he bettable at this price? Well, I, he's proven that he's bettable at pretty much any price because, what, he's won six of his last eight tournaments. Uh, mm -hmm. He didn't show up there at Pinehurst, which does give us all a little bit of pause. But at the end of the day, I, I don't throw much stock at all into last week. Last week, everyone was asking, you know, should Scotty be here or whatever? And I was just happy he wasn't because then it makes the betting market so much more fun. When he's there at the top of the board, he's difficult to fade, especially what's going to be a ball striking test this week. If we got to get into the open championship now, we got to start talking about the weather. And we are going to have a proper mess on our hands come the end of this week. Now, the wind isn't going to be anything crazy, Joe, but it's the type of rain where you and I love to watch golf from the bar and not play in it. Let me tell you, because it's going to rain all four days, Thursday through Sunday, and it's going to be that like nuisance style rain, just like persistent rain all day long. I don't think that at this point, we know that there's going to be a wave advantage for AM, PM, or PM, AM. But when it comes down to it, 
Scheffler's going to have to go out with the rest of these guys, and he's going to have to battle the elements. And since he's the best ball striker in the world, I think you could pretty much put him at any price right around there at four, five, six to one. I mean, we can get six to one. It'd be great. But right around five to one where he sits now, I mean, I think it's fair. I also think that Rory did enough last week in his little recovery from what happened there from his putting at Pinehurst to show us that, you know what, Troon could be a, could be a real opportunity for him mm-hmm. to get off that 10-year slide in the major championships. He's sitting at eight to one and as a favorite, and I don't say this very often, Joe, I am not a huge Rory fan when it comes to big tournaments, but he looks pretty good. His T4 there at Scotland, it looked like he had plenty in the tank to go and that he was just rounding himself into shape for what's going to be a true test this week for the Open Championship out there on the west coast of Scotland. Mm, I, the guy that I'm going to be real interested in is, is Bryson, right? His worst finish in any of the three majors this year has been sixth at the Masters. Is he a top 10 play here? What do we do with him in this one? I'm not quite sure if you could get top 10 odds that are going to be worth it for you. Uh, Top five, certainly. Mm. I mean, he's one of only two guys that can finish all four majors in the top 10 this year, Xander being the other one. So Bryson's definitely a play. Here's what troubles me about him. When you go over there, you have actually got to put the ball on the planet somewhere, right? Um, He's got the ocean. (laughs) He's got the Firth of Clyde to the right of him going out and on the, and on coming in. I mean, there's gorse bushes everywhere. So this is not wire grass over there. They have had a very mild Mm -hmm. spring over there, and it's been very wet. Everyone's talking about the rough. All the caddies I've spoken to, other media members that are over there, they said, Keith, it is thick over here. You're going to have to hit the fairway. Now, Bryson can game plan, and he can can club down off the tee, so he can definitely find the fairway. And one of my other keys is definitely lag putting, of which he is one of the best in the field, best in the world at. So I do like Bryson – to be competitive for sure there's no doubt about that but as far as winning he's gonna have to find that fairway as well as everyone else uh, to me if it ain't broke I, I think he's uh the the prop the best live golfer at the end of the tournament maybe uh maybe worth a, a sprinkle here because i don't know anybody else on that tour playing as good as he is but of course keith will be here all week on the sports grid network plenty more coming up on the open championship we appreciate you keith enjoy the week man our newswire will close out next